How's it going everyone? This is your local internet provider here. Today I'm going to show you how to download a piece of software to change your YouTube client to look like the 2016. Well, it's not a client, it's a web page, but this is uh, better than uh, YouTube Redux or any other YouTube extension that I've used to change how YouTube looks. Oh, would you look at that? Uh, this will come in play later, so we're, I'm just gonna put it right there. Nice and tidy. Okay, so uh, those who did not have a computer in like 2016, you might not remember how YouTube looked like back then, but those who do probably, well, remember still. Uh, here's how it looked like back then. Uh, this was the first image I found on Reddit, so uh, I, I can't explain it, but nevertheless, uh, this is how it looked like, and this is our goal for the day, to reinstate how this looks. Uh, this is with 7KT 7kt tube I do not know what that is so uh, we're gonna do the rehike tutorial I'll live a I will leave a link in the description so you can download rehike for yourself of course but uh, okay let's get started uh, first you will need a few things you will need at least Windows 7 on a 64-bit version uh, you will need the software which just popped up on user account control and a method to proxy rehike to youtube.com www.youtube.com okay so uh exam i'm gonna download it now uh it's not overly difficult it's it's a normal installer okay so you don't need any of these so you can just disable everything but well you can't actually disable anything else so um yeah, just leave Apache and PHP on. After all, you can't even turn them off. Uh, then just click Next. Maybe you do want to change the Engl <laughs> from English to Deutsch. But, uh, oh well, I'm going to be using English because I can I read English. Uh, well, we'll be back when it downloads. So we're going to get to the next step, which is to, well, open the control panel and start setting it all up. When it turns on, you will see this lovely control panel, and all you need to do is click the start button on Apache. This will, of course, turn Apache on. Next, and this is what they recommend, by the way, the people who make Rehike, is to open Windows, well, Windows Run, type in shell, double double dot startup this will open your startup folder you they do have a vbs file well available and this is what i'm going to use so you have to new item text document we will change it of course but just name it anything uh, open apache is what they use and change the format from dot text to dot vbs this is important then click edit and then type in this. Uh, this will be also linked in the descri description of this video. Afterwards, well, I'm pretty sure that's all the, well, Apache setup, so we can store this away for now. Afterwards, we need to set up Rehike. Uh, we do need to use Git, which is uh, some kind of development thing, I guess. And we need to go to CD c double dash uh, slash uh, pardon me backward slash I think that's called and exam p afterwards you need to go rm dear uh, remove directory uh, and it's this one on screen uh, oh pardon me I guess we cannot remove it simply so we do have to go into the C drive ourselves uh, I don't know why it isn't empty but after we're here we are here already so we can just remove it and then uh, we will type in this and it will do it oh Jesus pardon me it will do it by itself and it has created a new HD docs folder this is literally everything you don't need to do anything there anymore now this will be actually uh, different on the uh, what's it called Mac OS and Linux versions but more or less it's the same all right, next what you'll need to do is to proxy rehike using a hosts file. I am downloading the Apache and browser pardon me, certificates. Now, I don't think that 
uh, your PC will willingly download the rehike underscore master underscore cert dot PEM file. At least my computer isn't willing to download it. But we do have the uh, Apache Conf SSL, which will go into a, a an, into an Apache folder. So C XAMPP, then you have to go to Apache and configuration, and just uh, drag and drop. Oh, pardon me. Uh, drag and drop these. Try to go to a blank space, not to the. SSL CRT channels, just the blank space, and then replace the files in the destination. Then you can close the, well, that. And next, what you need to do is to set up the rehike server. We can go that by going to extra and vhosts. So that's this, and open it with Notepad plus plus. I'm using Notepad plus plus. You don't need to use that Note plus plus. Uh, but I use it myself and they have kindly added a copy paste and that is this you have to copy paste this exactly so I'm not even gonna try to bother with typing it over but you basically have to do that and afterwards you actually do have to go into system 32 now this might seem very risky and it is if you decide to press the delete button but I actually think Windows has measures against deleting system 32 so you should be fine but you basically have to go to system 32 drivers etc hosts and edit with notepad plus plus now the issue is this is an administrator folder so administrators can only modify this so it will ask you to relaunch in administrator mode uh, but after you do that you just save and you also could for extra what the fuck? I typed in CMD, didn't I? Uh, you can also do IP config flush DNS. This is only a precaution. You don't have to do it. You can also just restart your PC. But seeing as I'm recording, I'm not willing to do that. After, you need to import the certificate of XAMPP into your computer. I, I might already have that done. So that could be an issue. But let's see. So you have to go to Trusted Certification Authorities and right click it, All Tasks and Import a Certificate. Uh, then you have to go to Browse and I did download it, right? All right, uh, the issue is Windows for whatever reason doesn't offer to search with a uh, .pem file. So what you have to do actually is make a new file, a text file. Okay, it's it's gone away now. Uh, I'm going to rename it to what it's called on the page. But you also have to change the file format to pem. And I'm going to open it with this, bam, boom. And then import it. Next. Yeah, this is proper, so just click next again. Uh, I will again leave a download link to the in the description, but you also could go to the tutorial page and find the links there. But just in case, I'm gonna leave them in the comments. Uh, so it will give you an actual warning, which means that I didn't download this previously. Then you will need to go into your browser settings uh, to import it into your browser. So this is my browser. You have to go to privacy and security. Where the fuck is Oh, pardon. Security. And where is it? Manage certificates. Then you have to go to tra trusted root certification authorities. You have to import the same file. This should be importing the same file again. Uh, yeah, so that that worked and then you should be able to go to youtube.com and if it gives you this issue I fucked something up uh, or it actually worked but you need to hard refresh it you can do this by holding control and f5 or control shift and r I'm gonna use control f5 oh a warning uh, oh fuck uh, Okay, this is actually a bad warning. C
shit! And how's it going, Blazers? We are back. Uh, here's YouTube. Uh, it does seem that you do, unfortunately, have to reset your computer entirely. But yeah, here it is in all its former old glory. You also do have rehike settings. This is very useful if you want to, for example, change the old to the old logo, uh, the upload button, and everything else. You can change it not infinitely. There are limits, of course, and you can also disable it if something is not. If you want to use a feature that's only present in new YouTube, and there's other. A few other features, but they are more or less uh, nothing. Uh, but yeah, that's rehike. Uh, it. I really do like how it looks. I. Uh, I can't. I have so many memories of the shitty ass YouTube videos I was watching as a kid. But here's my channel. Wow, it's actually looking good with this piece of shit. But this <laughs> slop, slop, slop. Oh, do, these are the similar color. Um, Okay, I'm gonna fix that. But uh, thank you for watching this video. I hope I help. I hope I helped someone setting up uh, this really neat web extension. It's not a browser extension, and it doesn't aim to be. But they do actually offer. Well, not they, but someone similar to them actually does offer. Oh easy to install web extension. It is called Vorapis, Vo, Vo, Vorapis, uh, I don't know how to pronounce that unfortunately, Vorapis 2013 or V3. It is available online but before you had to go to their Discord server and all that but uh, it's it's not aiming to be as the same thing as this. Uh, just to open a fucking video page. So, oh I forgot theater mode. It's evidently not trying to be the same thing but uh, in 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 reality it's close enough it's available for download and that might be easier for you to download but uh, in my opinion this one is better so i'm actually gonna put my outro as the outro of this video i'm gonna open it on youtube content related to the china's game so yeah thank you for watching everyone see y'all Nothing to be afraid of, shorty. You know, I'm just making some adjustments. Don't want to break your heart. If you're MGA, okay, got the pokes out the way.